Hey guys, welcome to the labor and delivery video. This is baby Jones. He is officially one month old today. I have been kind of waiting to do this video um, because labor just didn't quite go the way that I had planned. And so I've really had to kind of mentally process what happened and just my thoughts and feelings about it. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the video and clips uh, of the delivery first and then we will talk about it afterwards. All right, can you tell me what's going on? I have contractions. Yeah? And I am like shivering, but it's not really that cold, but I feel like I'm shivering. So we are gonna, I guess, go to the hospital. Yeah? My contractions aren't super regular, but they've been like more at like the five, six minute range more often than not. So I'm still like shivering. <laughs> You're not excited, are you though? I don't know. Like, I don't feel like my brain has caught up, but I'm nauseated. And I don't feel very good. And so I'm putting on something comfy, which happens to be a dress. So I look a little fancy. Ooh, look at, look, turn sideways. Let's oh, see the bump. See the bump. Ooh. It's, it's a good one. But I figured I didn't want to wear pants and I don't want to wear pajama pants. And they're probably just going to put a gown on me anyway, so. So what are we doing? Well, I'm admitted to the ER because the other office isn't open. <laughs> so I'm here, so they're going to monitor me for like an hour and see if I progress or not. And hopefully I do, so I don't have to go home during rush hour. But I got my ice, a ginormous cup of ice. All right, what are we doing? Going upstairs. All right, what does that mean? Uh, that I am admitted, which is lovely. All right, how do you feel? I'm like, um, pretty good. Minus okay. contractions. All right. As long as I don't have a contraction, I'm good. Cool. All right. That's a break. Up to the fifth floor we go. A face. I have a feeling that face is not gonna be like this for for the entire day. obviously but it wasn't until the very end that it kind of became an emergency so that was scary but everything turned out well and they got him out real quick and um, but he's pretty cute come around for a shot and look at that little face It's a cute baby. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I think, um, I think Jay's doing better than I am, obviously. Hey guys, I didn't squeeze a baby out of my private parts. Yeah, labor's kind of sucky. It was, yeah, it was, it was rough, but all natural. Rocked it. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here and heal and rest and baby's gonna go to the nursery for a little bit probably most of the night so we can rest and yeah but can't believe we have him i don't think it's reality yet i just don't i'm not like emotionally there yet you know but just because of 
it was kind of traumatic at the end of labor. And so I think it's just gonna take me a little while, but pretty cool that I have this cute little thing that I can hang out with, with my husband. But that's, that's it for tonight, I think. Did not get a ton of video. They didn't allow us to video during the delivery, which makes sense. Um, we were able to take pictures, and so we took pictures through most of it. Um, obviously, a lot of the pictures just kind of looked the same of me pushing and was in pain, so there was really only so many shots that were worthwhile to show. At the very end, um, kind of the shots that I would have loved to have, um, we weren't able to get because this little lovely booger got stuck um, at the very end and so it became a more of an emergency situation and so filming and pictures and stuff like that were the last things on our mind. I went into the hospital at 4.30 in the morning. We felt pretty good. I was contracting about every five minutes roughly and they were lasting for about a minute each and so Oh, I, but I wasn't in a lot of pain, but I was like, they're regular enough. It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't want to hit rush hour if we keep waiting a little bit longer. And I wanted to know if I was actually in labor or not. So the day before, uh, we got my membrane stripped because he was getting bigger by the day. Um, he was ended up being 7.14. And so he was getting bigger and I was more uncomfortable and my doctor was going out of town. <laughs> And so I didn't want to be induced. She was going to be out of town right like from like the 26th on. And so if I was either on time or late, she would probably not be able to be there. Um, so we got my membrane stripped, which if you don't know, that basically means that um, you are, there's basically like a circle where your cervix is, where the baby's head is pushing down. And basically they just take their finger and they just kind of swipe around um, the cervix and that helps uh, strip the membrane and hopefully start um, labor and contractions. It doesn't break your water or anything like that, um, but it's like a really simple thing that they can do. It was a lot more painful than people had told me. A lot of people were like, oh, it just feels like an annual exam or like, you know, just normal, like, no. I thought it hurt so, so bad. Maybe I'm a wimp, I don't know. So we entered the hospital at 4.30 because we were um, after hours or before hours, uh, they could not admit us, and so we had to sit in the little women's center ER uh, for an hour to get monitored to make sure I was actually in labor. After an hour, I had dilated another centimeter, up to five centimeters, and so we got to go upstairs. So right around, I want to say right around noon, I don't fully remember, uh, they asked me if I wanted to get my water broken. I had progressed really well. I think I was up to like eight centimeters, and my water had not broken, and... Basically, which is a good thing because that makes contractions a lot worse and speeds up the process. And so they asked me, they're like, we can break your water and it'll probably speed up the process, but you will be in a lot more pain or you can wait until they, it breaks on their own. It just might take a little bit longer. Um, so I opted to get my water broken and within like five minutes, my contractions were frequent and really painful and I was just about ready to push. I think I pushed for around an hour, I think. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it was a decent amount of time, but wasn't horrible. We opted to have a mirror in front of me um, so that I could see the progression. I really enjoyed that. It was kind of weird to have a mirror and like be looking down there, but it really helped because with each contraction and with each pushing, I was able to see the baby's head start moving forward and so if you kind of dissociate from it and but it was really great to see like the progress that we had when he started coming out things were going great i was really thrilled i was just prepping myself just telling me telling myself just a little bit longer just a little bit longer he's almost here he's almost here um and his head was starting to crown i had the ring of fire which if you didn't know what that was. It basically feels like there's a ring of fire where his head is, where your um, area down there is stretching a lot. 
And so that was really hard um, to kind of get through, but I knew at that point, once I hit that point, it was almost over. His head came out and at that point, I was so done with pushing. I was so tired and just ready to have him out, but then things started to change. So it went from just having my doctor and nurse in there to having a bunch of nurses rushing in, a bunch of people surrounding me, and I was just really confused at what was happening. They just kept telling me, you need to push now, you need to push now. I was just so tired, I couldn't push. Um, what ended up happening is when you pull your legs back, they ask you to pull your legs, and I was pushing my legs. I really just mentally couldn't figure out how to pull my legs towards me. Um, and so we, uh, they were like, Ellie, pull your legs, pull your legs. I was like, I, I can't, I can't do it. Um, so it was really kind of rough. And so they were basically having to do it for me. They were pulling my legs back really far. And so what happened was he got stuck. So his sh uh, shoulder had a um, shoulder dystocia, which basically just means that it was stuck in my um, pelvis. And so we were not able to uh, get him out. All of a sudden I had nurses literally like jumping on my stomach and um, I was really kind of blacking out. I, I was just really unsure what was going on. People were telling me, you need to push, you need to push. This is a very serious situation. You need to get him out. And I just, I was, I was just looking around and I was like, I, I just can't, I can't push. Like I'm so tired and his head was out. He should have been out already and he wasn't. And so um, he, so basically there was a nurse that was shoving on my stomach from like up and pushing down, trying to get him to dislodge. And I'm pretty sure my doctor had her hand like all the way up there. Um, I don't really remember because everything hurt at that point. And so I wasn't really sure, but it was really scary. His face turned blue really fast, which is normal. And I could just kind of see the like fear in my husband's eyes. He just looks at me and is like, Ellie, like you need, you need to push. And I, I was just like, I, I, I can't. And so at that point, nurses came on either side and lifted my legs up as far as possible, trying to open my birth canal a little bit further. And uh, we were able to get him out. So he had a 90 second shoulder dystocia and we got him out which after I had spoken to my doctor at our four week checkup, she said that some babies actually get stuck for like up to like five or six minutes. So I was glad that it wasn't a super long time, but it definitely felt long and really difficult. After baby was out, they did a little bit of resuscitation just to kind of get oxygen back in him quickly. And um, his face was really bruised. His nose was really bruised, and so he wasn't very attractive when he first came out. Um, I will insert a clip right here. As you can see, he was not very pretty when he came out, um, just because he got stuck and um, he was blue and his poor little head and everything like that was so squished and uh, kind of traumatized. So it was pretty traumatic for me. Um, I really had this vision of having a natural labor delivery getting him put on my chest, uh, trying to breastfeed, and just kind of like the romantic version of birth. And while I had a natural birth, and I'm so happy that I did because I didn't have to have a C-section, but it was just really pretty traumatic. And so I remember them putting the, him on my chest and I was excited to see him, but honestly, I just, I just didn't want anything to do with him. And it, it makes me want to cry. Uh, it was really hard because I I just didn't want him. I, did, I didn't want to touch him. I just wanted to recover. And so I, was, I gave him straight back to Jay. And obviously Jay enjoyed him immensely. Um, but I just was not, not there. I was not connected and, um, and it was just really tough. So we finished um, the delivery process with the placenta. Everything else went really smoothly. Bleeding, everything like that was not bad. I had a second degree tear. I don't remember tearing at all, but um, so after I, um, all the doctors and nurses left and family came in and um, 
had the baby on my chest still wasn't there i i did not fall in love with him at first sight i wasn't i don't think i even fell in love with him over the next you know day or two it really took me a while to kind of come back to reality and really feel like this is my baby this is <laughs> it's okay it's okay um to feel like this is okay this is my child this is my baby i you know and to just kind of fall in love with him when we went to the recovery uh we sent him to the nursery that night they brought him back every two to three hours to feed and things like that he did not breastfeed at all in the hospital and so we had to hand express into a spoon and feed it to him that way and so that was super unglamorous and so he wasn't eating he was just all sorts of bruise and i just i just didn't feel connected at all and it was really rough because i really i feel like everyone has this like romantic view of labor and delivery where the, where the baby is put on your chest and they're like oh you're just gonna like fall in love with him the moment you see him and honestly it was like anything but that i mean i just was so i was just in such a state of shock and just kind of traumatized by what happened that i just i couldn't mentally handle it and i think it was good because i was able to allow the nurses and stuff like that to take care of him i was able to allow jay to grab him um and take care of him during that process of healing and getting used to everything that was going on overall labor and delivery went pretty well um in retrospect you know things were really tough and but i would definitely do a natural delivery again if i'm able to i have a higher chance of uh, my next baby's shoulder getting stuck as well and so there is an increased risk factor with that and so we will see next pregnancy uh, what happens but I hope to have a natural delivery again since labor and delivery everything has healed up really well I've had my four-week appointment with the doctor I am basically healed down there I'm cleared to exercise I still got two weeks until you can be intimate um, but we, um, he is doing well. I am falling in love with him more every day. He is really, it took me a while at the beginning to fall in love. Um, but after a couple of days, I really started just feeling more protective. My maternal instincts kind of kicked in and, um, really started to enjoy him. We are one month old today. It is snowing outside. We have like almost three inches of snow, which is crazy for Nashville. But we're doing good and I am just so happy that he is here. He was seven pounds, 14 ounces, 21 inches long and born at 2.32 in the afternoon. And I could not be more thrilled to have him. Um, it feels normal to have him now. Like it feels like this is what life's always been like, right? Um, he is doing really well. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. It might have been a little scattered. I apologize. I'm still processing the labor and delivery in general. Um, but please press the subscribe button and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and share it as well. And we will see you later.